glad you could join us again on our YouTube channel, Don't Eat the Art, to do another gouache. But what we're doing today is we're basing this painting off of an oil painting I did a few years ago. So I wanted to kind of play around with, you know, what would it look like as a gouache? And this is going to be challenging because, um, as you saw in my last, our last video, I usually leave a lot of white space on my backgrounds when I do gouache. And this is not going to be the case. So this will be new for me too. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. Wow. That's really big old bit of... Um, this is going to be tricky too because I usually don't make such large strokes. So I'm a little unaccustomed to how much water I'll need. So I am learning along with you guys. This will be fun. All right, woo. We don't sound excited. Because <laughs> I'm focused. All right, we're going to need more white. I lied, guys. We're going to need much more white than what I thought. There we go. That's Whoa! me, the film guy again. <laughs> I'm chiming in this time because I can. All right, so let's see. We want that to stay actually I kind of you know I kind of like that intense orange there so I'm going to bring that back a little bit you know what close enough I'm going to uh oh clean my water now it looks like orange juice do not drink it but it looks tasty it looks tasty don't drink it why not because it'll make you sick and you'll have to go to the hospital oh that does look good okay I'm going to Dump it down the drain. Even though this blue is going to be a little bit darker than the yellow. Uh, we talked last week about the importance of clean, changing your water because you don't want those colors muddying together. All right. Now we're ready for our blue. Normally I wouldn't have put the blue out first, but I was kind of being a dope and was forgetting that I had some light colors to work with. So we'll just pretend like I need to do this. Ha, ha, ha. All right. So I'm mixing in some of the the sky blue with the peacock blue because it's always easier to go back and make things darker so if you're not entirely sure exactly where you're going with something it's always safer to start a little bit lighter and then add in some dark and with gouache since it's opaque you could let it dry and then go back and make it lighter if you got it too dark but it's just easier to start this way so Wow, this is, again, I'm not used to doing such solid work with the blue. This is really kind of fun. I have a feeling I'm going to go through my tube of blue, but it'll be worth it. It's going to be awesome. Let's just uh, zoom along here real quick, because this is a surprisingly slow phase, especially if your brush is kind of not super big. so much blue. Look how fast that's going on there. May go faster with the larger brush. Not sure. But I'll try that one of these days. This corner had dried a little bit, but I wanted it to be a little darker. So we just about have our background ready. There is one last thing I want to add, which will mean, oh, that looks like a raspberry, doesn't it? Look at that. Mmm. Don't drink it. Okay. One more paint change. So that, wow, that made my paint so blue. And I'm also going to rinse my brush a bit. Because a lot of these strong blues and some of the greens too, it, they can... Like my brush is pretty much clean now, but it's stained. Right. Wash takes a lot of work because you got to keep changing stuff. Yeah, it's like you have to get up and down. It's like, geez. But it dries instantly, so you get almost instant gratification of having a done painting. Like I mentioned last week, it, you can't do that with oils. You have to wait, wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. All right. So what I, I'm doing here is I, I got a little white, and then I mixed it in with that orange and yellow batch that we had earlier. And I put way more water on my brush than normal. And what that's doing is see where it, it looked kind of 
uh, dry on the edges there. Um, I'm just gonna lighten, you know, smooth that up a bit, not lighten it, but smooth it out. Smooth it out because I like a nice smooth look. Okay. Good stuff there. Well, I blow that how hard he is. Alright. So, you can see the background we got. Got some nice stuff going on there. I'll let that dry for a minute before we add our subject. Hey guys. Alright, so this is dry enough. You want to be sure that this is absolutely dry before you start adding your subject unless you really want some funky mixes. But since I'm doing a pure white subject, I don't want any of that. So. That's racist. <laughs> Why's it gotta be white? <laughs> uh, oh. <all> right. <laughs> oh, don't put that in there. Cut that out. Oh, no, that was pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're adding... <laughs> I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Start over. All right, so we're ready to add our water tower. So you want to be sure this is absolutely dry before we start. Close enough. So just because it'll mix in. So I have it rather thick on the brush. Let's see what happens. Woo! All right, staying okay. Doing okay. This might require some extra water or less water. I, I can't quite tell. We'll find out. Yeah. Look how fast that's going on. That's how you paint fast. I don't eat it. Gouache sounds like food. I don't know why. <laughs> it does sound like, you know, some, maybe some French dessert. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm thinking of a quiche crossed with a creme brulee. That's, that's kind of what, oh man, now I'm hungry. Great. Thanks. Now I'm starving and I'm going to eat this freaking painting. Don't let her think she's mad at me. She's always hungry. You know, it really sums up true art. It is food for your soul. I mean, it's just... I thought ice cream was. It fills the cracks. That's true. That's true. Or is that, or is that soup? Isn't there something about soup? <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm done. Oh, gosh. But... She lost it again. We're going to go, we want at least one boop, right on top of the water tower since that's what occurs. And then everywhere else is just going to be what feels best to you. Mm -hmm. and this is where I'm going to have to kind of pay attention to, because you want to kind of give the feeling of it blinking. Here we go with some more fast line work. Again, this is a slow process. It's kind of fun to watch it go really fast. Yeah, look at that. Zoom! 
You can really do a lot with the line work, guys. You could use it sparingly or go pretty heavy on it. I often vary the thickness of the lines because I can feel totally different if it's thin versus thick. I often use different colors as well, but uh, with gouache, I mostly just done black so far. Again, that's just because I usually do the mostly white backgrounds, so maybe that'll change one day. I kind of liked doing this full color background. <laughs> The little bits. Yeah, look at that. Man, if only I could really paint this fast. It'd be super duper. Yeah, the contrast that the line work provides. Super nice. You can also see the red dots pretty well from here. Well guys, I hope you had fun with us here at Donate the Art as we painted a gouache version of this oil painting I did a few years ago. It was, I wanted to show you these next to each other to let you see just how different, I mean, ignoring the size difference, you see all my brush strokes in the oil, it's a little more glossy because of the varnish, and on here it's this nice uniform matte, which is one of the things I love about gouache, I love that matte look. And this one's a little brighter now. I, I, I might have added a little bit more dark in here to give it a little bit more depth, but I'm happy with how it came out, and that was fun. It was some learning for me because I had never done a full color background for a gouache before, so that was something new, and it was kind of fun. I don't think I'd ever really copied my own work before, so another new thing. It was actually really fun, and I thought it'd be kind of silly to copy it, but since it's, it was a totally different medium, you know, it was, it was a new adventure, and I sure had a blast with it. Hope you had fun watching it. So, definitely join us again next week, see what we're going to do. We'll have something fun for you then, too, every Thursdays when we plan to air our episodes. So, definitely come join us on our YouTube channel, Don't Eat the Art. Go ahead and subscribe, and that way you can always be up to date on any new content that we post. See you next week. Well, here I just wanted to show you these two paintings a little closer. So here's the oil. You can see the gloss from the varnish. And then the nice matte look of the gouache. Hope you enjoyed watching this come to be and seeing the comparison between the two mediums. Yeah, check it out. <laughs>